How well your website navigates is critical to customer satisfaction. If your online store is disorganized or overwhelming, you're going to hinder the success of your business because potential shoppers are going to take their money and run, which is not something that you want. Now, although BigCommerce has already set you up with some well-designed themes, we're going to hone in on category navigation and throw in some quick tips for your website overall. So first, don't overwhelm your customers with too many categories at the top of the storefront. You don't want shoppers to have to scroll like crazy to find what it is that they're looking for. In fact, they're just not going to do it. Now, if you're thinking, I have far too many product categories for what this crazy lady is recommending, consider selecting a design theme with left-hand category navigation. Statistically, this converts better than having multiple rows of categories across the top of your store. For one, it will feel cleaner to potential shoppers, and you won't be pushing important content to what's known as below the fold. So below the fold simply refers to anything that does not show when you land on a website. It's all the stuff that you must scroll to get to. Always work to include important information like categories, imagery, calls to action, and so on above the fold so that shoppers can find what's most important and take the actions that you want for them to take. But there's a balance between usability and cramming every last detail onto the page. So just keep it clean and simple. Try not to go bananas and include absolutely everything above the fold. So short story very long, your goal should be to ensure the overall navigation is easy. This starts with a simple top-level navigation and contains sub-level categories that are logical and simple as well. Since you've already got a great design theme, let's begin by creating some product categories and I'll show you those tips and tricks along the way. Inside of your store's control panel, you can manage your categories under products, product categories. First thing to do is to remove the sample categories that have been provided for you. We don't want any strays just lying around that aren't relevant to your business. Now, you may simply select create a category. Give your category a simple and straightforward name so that when your potential customers arrive, they can figure out where to go. The category URL will auto-populate for you, and yes, this is search engine friendly. Next, provide a description. Although not every design theme will make this description visible to your customers, it will help your SEO, which we'll talk about later on in BigCommerce University. Now, in this description, tell your customers what it is you offer within this category. You might highlight the benefits, features, brands, anything that would be relevant to your potential customers. If you'd like to edit the look and feel of the text, you may do so by using the WYSIWYG editor. You'll be able to highlight the text that you would like to alter and then hover over any icon to discover what it can accomplish for you. You can change the font, colors, drop in an image or video, and so much more. Also, don't forget to check out the HTML source editor if you happen to prefer that method of editing. If you wanted this category to show on your main storefront navigation, go ahead and save. Now, if you wanted this as a subcategory, you can select the main parent category you'd like to tuck this under right here and then save. Now, we've gone ahead and added a few categories to show you what this area will look like. Plus, we wanted to share that you may rearrange your categories here as well. Grab any of your categories and rearrange the sort order and it will be reflected on your storefront. Additionally, you can adjust the subcategory settings by dragging them to the right or left and tucking them under a main parent category. These changes occur so quickly that by the time you refresh the front end of your store, the changes will have already taken place. Pretty cool, right? Now, a little tip for you. If you're noticing that some of your deeper subcategories are not showing, go into settings, store settings. Select display and scroll for category settings. Here you'll be able to adjust your menu display depth to whatever you'd like. Again, just be mindful that you don't have too many levels in your category navigation as it gets challenging for a shopper to maneuver their way through the product or services they're interested in purchasing. Okay, bonus time since we're already in store settings. Here under display settings, you'll find product breadcrumbs. This refers to those little navigation nuggets that can really help shoppers understand where the heck they went in your store. We recommend setting this to show one when you're starting out, but depending on your design theme, industry, and just your preferences, feel free to make adjustments later on down the road. Okay, we're gonna show you even more tips and tricks around your store's conversion rate in later sections of BigCommerce University. For now, remember that no matter what decision you're making, always think about your potential customers. It's not always about what looks best to you. 
your website decisions should always be about reducing as much friction and removing obstacles so that your shoppers get to the checkout page and then make that purchase. Now, as you're polishing up your store for your specific business needs, it's a great idea to send your site to friends and family and send them on a little scavenger hunt. See if it's simple or difficult for them to find the product that they're looking for. Now, once you launch your business, pay special attention to your store's analytics and any metrics that can help you identify areas in which you can make improvements. You're also going to learn more about what your target audience likes and doesn't like as time goes on. After all, making improvements to your website will be a continuous process that never ends.